Zer is in the hangar in the tower again, and he is selling Arbalist, which is a linear fusion rifle that takes special weapon or special ammo. And I highly suggest it just because this weapon is really useful when you're killing bounties like get a certain amount of kills with a linear fusion rifle, uh, don't die and get these many kills with linear fusion rifle kills. This is really good to get linear fusion rifle kills because it takes special ammo. It used to be really good, but the aim assist got really uh, nerfed because it was kind of busted. I still would recommend it just in case you still don't have this weapon. Not only that, but it does have disruption, disruption break and like compound force fire slug that causes massive damage to elemental shields of any enemy combatants. I would suggest it if you don't have it. If you do have it, you already know you already have it. So that's pretty much it. Uh, for the hunters, we ended up getting Graviton Forfeit, one of my favorite exotics from Destiny 1. The only thing that's unfortunate <clears throat> is the fact that Vanishing Shadow is not like the best. So increase the duration of any invisibility effects. Your melee recharges faster while you are invisible. So like that sounds cool, but it's only like two to three seconds extra if I remember correctly. If it was like a whole five, I'd be on this. If it was like seven, oh my God, I'd, I'd be on this. But unfortunately it's not that long. Even like the whole your melee recharges faster while you were, in, while you were invisible is not like appealing enough to me. Like. Man, these used to be so good in Destiny 1. Because they used to be able to give you dodge for free. Which, back then, you had to spend a node for. But, I don't know. I just feel like they, they're they like a shadow of what of what they once used to be. And the, thing, the, only thing I, the, only thing, the only reason I would recommend these to, like, hunters is because the stat rotation is pretty fire. You get a high mobility, high recovery, and high discipline. Even the intellect's pretty fire. Like, I would get these... There are, you're like, dude, you are getting like basically two, two nodes or two upgrades to like mobility and like recovery. Like that's what's cool about this. I, I'm, I'm on it, dog. Like what's even better is like you can put, still put something on this. So if you really want to, you could put like on recovery or on mobility. Like I, I would get these if I didn't already have like six of these. And I think I have like something that has better stat rotation than this. But yeah, I recommend this. These are pretty good, like, for base starting. For Titans, you get the Mark 44 standard sights. I've already talked about this, but I'll talk about it a little bit again. Grants an overshield when you're sprinting at full health with seismic strike, hammer strike, or shield bash equipped and charged. Hits with these abilities recharge a portion of your melee energy. So these are really good. <clears throat> if you have your one of your uh, shoulder charges, then you basically get a, get a shield you can use this in pvp and it's very meme -y. the other cool thing is if you're using this in pvp it allows you to pretty much escape certain situations which is the whole reason i use these sometimes not only that they're pretty good for like some like i think i have a build with these in in my uh my channel i don't remember if i do but yeah i highly recommend these i like no joke these are really good and if you don't have it i always say it's better to have it and not need it than to need it and not have it so the stat rotation is like fine i think i think like basically what you're looking for in a titan this armor set does have like if i put a recovery mod on this then it, it goes to 15 resilience 17 recovery and 16 discipline i think that's really really good or if you really wanted to, you could just put it on intellect. I know a lot of times we'll probably do that. But yeah, I'd recommend these. And last but not least, we have the Astrocyte Verse, which blink further and more frequently weapon readies quickly out of blink and radar remains up. So these are really, <clears throat> really annoying in my opinion for like to fight against. For Warlocks, this is gonna be your like, almost your bread and butter sometimes if you're running void. If you're running void, this is gonna be your bread and butter because blink, is like obscenely annoying to handle because it's just annoying and then on top of this one you just blink further and your weapon ready's out like immediately so it's it's immediate like dude i'm telling you you'll you'll notice the warlock when they start blinking away from you when you shoot them one time the stat rotation is pretty terrible in my opinion you really want to see high recovery you really want to see high discipline strength I I would not want 
honestly, my personal opinion, I would not want higher strength on my Warlock. Mostly because you don't want to get in a melee fight with a Warlock. Uh, Warlocks have the slowest uh, melee. They do have the longest reach, but you have to like maintain that that distance. So I don't know. If you're good at maintaining distance, then that's fine. I just, I would much rather have grenade, especially with like top void. So that's pretty much it. Let's, leak, let's see what I get this, this, uh, this week. Frost is really? Okay. Bad rotation. Okay, because I have this one and it's like decent in my opinion. Wait. This literally has one more <laughs> recovery than this one. Uh, yeah, I'll probably use this one then because that sucks. Ah, oh, dude, like I really, <sighs> whatever. So that's pretty much it, guys. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think. If you guys want to follow me on my social media, I'll let links are in the description below. I thank you for coming up to this point, and I will see you guys later.